Matt Henry joins us, 8 to the hour. Welcome back, Matt. Thank you. No worries. Thanks for having me. Congratulations, by the way. I don't know, actually. I hadn't actually read a little boy or a little girl. A uh, little wee girl, yeah. Um, Annabelle, yeah. She's absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Well, hopefully she's got some long levers there too because New Zealand cricket, the white ferns, they could do with uh, a little bit of batting, a little bit of bowling. So, will that in place? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, uh, who knows, um, early stages just yet. <laughs> How much of the first test did you watch, Matt? Yeah, no, I watched a few other days. Um, obviously pretty busy at that time, but just kept the, kept the close eye on how the guys were getting on. Okay, so base and reserve, what are we looking at? What, are just, what do you expect from that pitch? Yeah, obviously we've played a lot of cricket here in the basin and it's a place we all enjoy playing cricket. And, um, yeah, usually there is a lot of grass on the surface. It's been a lot of rain about, so um, haven't been able to actually have eyes on, on the wicket itself. But just nature of the weather that it's around, you would expect it to have a nice green tinge to it. Well, look, forecast the next couple of days as well is, is for rain and clouds, so it might actually help the ball swing. They've got a couple of guys that can do that. Are you, are you, are you happy if the weather and the uh, conditions are going to be like that? I think if you ask any uh, any fast bowler, I think they will be licking their lips to be happy with that. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I think obviously here at the basin, it's obviously the the challenge as well is the, with the wind as well. You usually have quite a strong windy windy days here, so it's uh, adapting to that as well as just the surface and, and making sure you get your lines and your links right. We got to make this point. We got to make it loud and clear. We took 19 wickets in that test match. Okay, so you got to get 20 to win the test match. We took 19. We're not that far away. Maybe the areas where we were bowling. What what are your thoughts? Yeah, no, you're definitely right. I mean, that, that's the whole way you get to one piece match cricket. You need to be taking your 20 wickets, and, and the guys were taking wickets, and I'm sure that looking on, on reflection that game would have been great, great to stem the flow of runs a little bit, but um, but that's that, that's the way it is. England played really well in that first test, and um, there's a lot we could have taken out of that game, and, and we'll be implementing that into the next game. Matt Henry is with us. Black Caps tomorrow against England's second test. Playing this particular side and the way that they play, does that change your approach at all, the way that you're thinking about bowling to them? Oh, I think you're always trying to adapt and, and learn to what what the game presents to yourself. And England obviously playing that nice positive brand of cricket that they're um, having success with, which is, poses new challenges for us, which is, which is exciting. That's why you play the game and you want to test yourself in these, these situations. So like you mentioned just before, taking wickets is key and, and now it's just uh, getting, that, getting that balance right with it, taking the wickets and attacking it and kind of stem that flow of runs because obviously that run rate they've been producing is um, obviously kind of setting themselves up. Yeah, Daryl Mitchell we spoke to after the test and, you know, I mean, if you're expecting him to be down in the dumps or anything like that, no, he was actually very upbeat about it. He said, look, we rip, snort and buzz, want to get back into them in Wellington because we believe we can really have a crack at this side. Yeah, of course. I mean, you always think you, you want to go there and you want to win. And I think the guys disappointed with what happened in the, at, at the Mount, but at the same time, there's a lot of... We weren't too far away in areas, and, and that's, the, that's the beauty of Test cricket, right? Is, yeah, those small margins, those those sessions that don't go away can sometimes compile in, in that end result. But, yeah, you get those parts right, and then obviously the, the game looks very different. So, yeah, the guys are in really good space, and we're looking forward to getting that red ball back in hand and, and here at the basin. Yeah, well, see, and I'm glad, glad you're saying that because that's what I suppose I'm, I'm trying to I'm trying to get at is that look, they're not supermen; they're guys who are playing cricket, and you know, I mean, I know that they, you know, us in the media, we build them up, and they're this and they're that, and they're playing this kind of brand of cricket. Well, so were the Aussie guys, and they went to India and they got stuffed. So it says to me, you're still facing a guy with a bat in his hand, aren't you? Yeah, oh, definitely, and that's you're exactly right. And, and we talk about those those moments, and if we can win those small margins, that goes to a long way for the result um, being very different. So, um, for us, making sure we we identify those moments out there, and, and we implement our strategies the way we can to try combat what they're trying to do, which is the exciting um, part of cricket, and why it's been really good to watch England play of, of late. Well, and uh, look, I don't know how much of the media you've re- you've read or anything else, but it's Matt Henry. He's the great saviour. He's got to come back and everything else. I mean, how many times in your career have you just been the hottest ticket in town? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't read too much into that. Um, look, for me, it's been uh, an amazing week for uh, personally, obviously, uh, the birth of our first child, which has just been amazing. Um, and then to come back here to Wellington to play test cricket is uh, really exciting, and it's been great to be back in the group. Well, it sounds like a heaven week for you, mate. You get a beautiful little baby girl and you get to play test cricket for New Zealand. How much better can it get? Yeah, it doesn't get much better than that. So, no, it's um, pretty exciting. And um, it has been great to get up here in Wellington and just uh, join the lads.
Oh, look, all the very best of luck for the weekend, mate. Appreciate your time on training day. Thanks so much. No, not a problem. Thanks very much. All right, Matt Henry with us there.